I've been wanting to make a video for a while where I go over the future of Brawlhalla. More specifically, all the features that devs have mentioned they want to add or work on, along with some other stuff we can expect to happen in the future. First off, I want to thank Hexred for the tremendous thumbnail that looks so realistic I feel a lot of people are gonna get mad at me and call it clickbait. But moving on, Brawlhalla has had some really positive changes this 2023. Even better than a lot of people may think, devs like Sloshula got moved to higher positions inside VMG. In fact, he was the lead on the new logo on website, which I'm sure many people actually really like. Though one of the biggest and smartest decisions was to move Foda to the sign lead position. This has and will cause a lot of positive impact in the game, and I'm not just saying that. Recently we've gotten an incredible amount of test features, legend reworks, general experimentation with stuff, and hell even two new gadgets. Like recently he made sure they removed that one annoying mechanic that made you automatically recover when out of jumps. Like whose idea was that? So yeah, as long as he's in that position, we can expect a lot of new exciting stuff to be implemented or at least tested out, which at least I love. It's been known that devs and especially Foda really want clans to be in a way better spot. Some time ago I suggested him on stream that they should implement clan quests, and he responded that if a clan's update were to happen, it would be way more than just that. We'll be talking about possibly making them available for all platforms and adding a lot of new exciting features to the system. Obviously for now we can only hope and speculate, but I see it very possible. PS4 cross inventory will also be coming real soon, as well as cross progression, which is a key feature they're actively working on, so you can share all your progress throughout different platforms. The amount of legends released yearly will most likely stay the same, 3 or 4 which is probably enough even though many people have complained and asked for more. On with BCX around the corner we can also expect some very exciting stuff happening in 2 months, since they always save the best reviews for that time, like meta devs, legends, or even weapons. While Rohal is being more generous with the amount of items they're giving, especially with the new rewards feature, they do seem to have slowed down with crossovers, which doesn't especially bother me. I think I went over everything. The pro scene will most likely keep growing, and so will the player base. Rohal is still the most played fighting game on Steam, and it looks like it will stay that way. And yeah, not too eager with, but apparently they'll be working on more animations, since this random video made it so good, unless of course defensive was messing with me per usual. That'll be all for today, hope you like, and do let me know what features you'd like to see BMG add to the game. And of course, as always, I'll see you all in the next video.